Reactions as APC members they come to Labour Party in Alimosho local government in Lagos State as they destroy their brooms. Hello everyone, welcome. In just about less than 48 hours to the governorship election of 18th March 2023, some APC members have decided to decamp to Labour Party. And this has caused a lot of reactions online, people asking questions to say why now or what exactly is happening and all of that. Everybody knows that the incumbent governor of Lagos State, Baba Jide Sonwolu, has been up and about in the last few weeks. In fact, immediately the presidential election was carried out. Sonwolu went full drive into campaigning that he, that he has never done before. A lot of people has clapped back at him to say, why is he just waking up from slumber? Is it because the Labour Party, Labour Peter Obi, had a landslide victory in Lagos State? Or is it just coincidental? Or is he just trying to right the wrongs? He's been begging, pleading, granting interviews, attending church services to convince the Gaussians that he is still the best man for the job and should be considered for his second term in office. So these are some of the issues right now. And people are saying because of the success of Peter B, this has really shot Badibor Road's Vivo, a bona fide Lagosian, into limelight. He has also intensified his campaign more than ever before in Lagos State, granting interviews, marketing himself, giving reasons why he's the best man for the job. The architect and MIT graduate is someone who is sound. And of course, when you put yourself out in the limelight, people are going to, of course, punch holes. And which has been done in several quarters. People saying um, the fact that he's not able to communicate well in Yoruba, he's not fluent in the Yoruba language. Is a big minus because Lagos State, in quote, is a Yoruba state. While some also have dug out some of his old tweets on issues like the Yoruba Nation and IPOB, where it tends to, you know, relate from the side of those who are agitating to say they need to be heard. And of course, they need to, they are also Nigerians and whatever grievances they have is valid. However, there must be a confluence of discussion where the best thing will be considered for the country. Now, please take a listen to the video where the decampees express themselves on why they had to leave or boldly coming out with their full chest to say, yes, we are members of the APC and now we have decided to join Badi Borough's Vival of Labour Party in Lagos State, Ali Mosha local government area to be precise. We are taking over. No going back. No going back. We are taking over. They went in party. Labour Party is taking over. They go. Yes. 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 Yes.
So as you can see, they have come out with their full chairs to say, okay, now they have moved to the um, Labour Party. One thing is worthy to be noted that Ali Moshe local government is one of the most strategic and most populous local government area in Lagos State. If you can recall two weeks ago, Labour Party won in Ali Moshe local government and Kushofe local government. When you're talking about Lagos State and elections, these two local governments stand out. And of course, this has sent a lot of chivers down the minds of APC members to say, how come where they have the highest number of Yoruba people? When it comes to this local government, they are predominantly Yoruba people from Lagos, from Oshun State, Ogun State, Ondo State, Southwestern Nigeria to be precise. So how come, you know, they had such victory, Labour Party, I mean, in that axis? This has led to many analysis saying that it is not just Ibo that voted for um, Labour Party's Peter Obi, which has shown that a lot of Yoruba people who are um, disconnected with whatever APC is doing has decided to pinch their tent with um, Peter Obi, and that's why the victory is landslide. It was actually very embarrassing that... Labour Party, a, a party that has no structure, less than nine months of campaign, could do and achieve that feat in Lagos State, where Bola Ahmed Tinumbo has held sway for 24 years. The PDP, who has always been the main opposition, is nowhere near what Labour Party has achieved, and this has led to a lot of discussion. Is there than 24 hours to the governorship election? And, of course, anything can still happen. Just a few hours ago, Bode George decided to announce to Lagosians that PDP members should vote for um, Bade Boru's rival, thereby endorsing him, you know, which of course would have affected um, the PDP governorship candidate, Abdulaziz Ade Dino, and his deputy, Funke Akindele, the actress. So, like we said, it's just a potpourri of events, and these surprises are not going to stop. But this looks like do or die um, politics or elections for a lot of people who have continually whipped the tribal sentiment argument to say that Lagos is no man's land, Lagos is somebody's land's land, somebody is more qualified. But the truth of the matter is all the people holding sway in Lagos, almost 98% of them are non-Lagosians. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Please stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye for now.